according to news reports, Tur uh, Turkey has made some moves on that front with Armenia in recent weeks. Yes, it's uh, very interesting. The um, we are at a crossroads now that it, uh, that we may see Armenia and Turkey having diplomatic relations and opening the borders, and this is a win-win for everybody, uh, especially for economic cooperation. Um, if you if Armenia wants to be a viable independent economic state, it needs to have good relations with Turkey. Eastern Turkey, which borders Armenia, is economically deprived. Trade between the two countries will foster economic development and will benefit for both Turks and Armenians. The president did make some comments uh, this morning about the um, about the caller's comment on the uh, on the um, incident in 1915. President Obama saying he stood by his 2008 assertion the Ottoman Turks carried out widespread killings of Armenians in the early 20th century, finessing the, sensitive issue, finessing the sensitive issue by stopping short of repeating the word genocide. He said, the president, quoting the president, well, my views on the record are on the record, and I have not changed the views, he said, standing aligned, alongside Turkish President uh, Abdullah, Abdullah Gul. Let's go to Ramsey, New Jersey, on our uh, Democrats line. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, I was just curious as to how large um, the TCA budget is, um, and what do you actively engage on with your um, your budget and your monetary expenditures? Our, our mandate is to educate the general public on about Turkish Americans, about Turkey, about U.S.-Turkish relations, and to build bridges between the Turkish American community and the uh, other uh, ethnic groups in the United States. You, uh, from your website, a picture here of uh, Secretary of State Clinton, who's uh, weeks ahead of the president, went there and laid some of the groundwork for, um, for the president's visit. What came out of her visit? Um, the trip of President Obama um, to Turkey um, that's happening now. And um, an understanding that um, this administration um, wants to work with Turkey. President Obama's speech this morning about 8, uh, 10, 8, 15 Eastern. We will show that to you in its entirety later in our program schedule on the C-SPAN networks next to Middletown, Maryland on our Republican line. Hi. Hi. Am I on? You are on the air. Go ahead. Okay. You, you keep reading this newspaper, that one may have million Armenian. The total number of Armenian back then wasn't even more than... 1.3 million, according to historical records. That's what Turks are arguing, that that belongs to history, not the politicians decide on the, you know, according to who going to give me votes and I, on the elections, which is uh, in Pasadena, in California, more than 1 million Armenian, you know, the House uh, Majority Leader, Nancy Pelosi is from that district, Armenians pushing, that's the... Uh, that's not a politician problem. That's a historical event. When you also mentioned 1915. 1915 is middle of the world, World War One. People fighting and killing each other. Armenians attacking Turks, and that's how everything started. That's a World War One. Caller, are, are you from Turkey? Yes. When I came here, like more than 30 years ago, there was Armenian terrorists was killing the Turkish ambassador. They killed more than. 50 Turkish ambassadors. Another thing is that Azerbaijan, they killed so many Azerbaijanis in Karabakh. Let, let's get a response. Thank you, Marilyn. Yeah, um, again, this is a tragic part of history, and um, one side of the story has been told, and uh, the Turkish side hasn't been told as thoroughly as the other side, and um, Turkish Americans have a burden on their shoulders to get the story across, and I think they are. But again, I think the emphasis has to be of encouraging Turkey and Armenia to um, dealing with the issue. And um, we as Americans here should encourage that dialogue. Um, we, uh, the United States needs to have good relations with, the United, uh, with Turkey and needs to have good relations with Armenia. Um, so let's talk about the future. Let's talk about what we have in common and um, say our prayers for all those unfortunate victims of the past. The um, president uh, is urging the EU to accept Turkey. Um, headline here in the Wall Street Journal, but member nations remain cool on a picture of some uh, Turkish protesters prior to the president's visit. Part of the story in the uh, 
Wall Street Journal reads, Turkey has started membership talks with the EU, but the process has been uh, partially frozen because of opposition from members including France, Germany, and Cyprus. How much will the president's endorsement uh, move the process along for Turkey? Well, uh, it's sweet music for the Turkish people to hear that. Um, Europe is, how much influence the president has in Europe remains to be seen. Um, and, and this is a major um, issue for the Europeans. Uh, right now, um, um, Turkey land size is larger than any country in, in the EU. And then by the year 2020, um, Turkey's population is going to exceed that of Germany. So here you have a country that's Muslim, larger in uh, territory, and will be large in population. So when J Turkey joins the EU, it will be the largest country um, in the EU and uh, um, take some time to digest that. Personally, I think that's going to um, be a new locomotive for Europe. The enthusiasm, the dynamism that exists in Turkey will help Europe. Um, Europe and Turkey need each other um, economically and uh, for defense purposes. Is there a common reason why there's opposition from countries like France on, on Turkey joining the EU? Well, I think, again, um, the um, fear that here Turkey could, um, uh, in the future, will um, be will have a larger say than they. Um, so this is something that has to be digested. Let's hear from Long Beach in New Jersey. New York, excuse me. Go ahead, Long Beach. Independent. New York, you there? Queens, New York is next. Republican line. Hi. Queens, Hello. good morning. You're on the air. Yes, uh, I want to ask the question is, uh, uh, this gentleman is American or Turkish, and uh, is he getting paid by the Turkish government uh, to represent them? I'm a Christian Holocaust survivor, son, and uh, I'm in the United States. My father, my father ran for his life in Bulgaria, and I was born there. And I came to the United States, and I am so um, upset because... Uh, this, this hypocrisy about the German people accept what they have done to the Jewish people. Why the Turkey, until today, they denied that? 75 million uh, Turks are very important for the United States. Armenia is a small country. And what until today, when Azerbaijan attacking the Armenians, it was killing them in the street and everything else. And when Armenia got stand up and fight like the exact way Israel did, and he got their land back over there. Now the whole world was a total blockage in Azerbaijan situation. They never said anything. Turkey support Azerbaijan. And the same talking is this oil nation and Turkey, powerful 75 million people, which is no Christian there. It's only Muslims. Thanks, New York. We'll get a response. No one's <laughs> denying that Armenians suffered in Turkey. And there are Christians in Turkey. That is totally inaccurate. Um, what about uh, Armenia occupying 20% of Azerbaijan territory? It's a very complicated situation. And again, the United States needs to be an impartial broker trying to encourage dialogue, not only between the United States and Armenia, but Armenia and Azerbaijan. Um, if we can encourage dialogue, it's going to be, bring prosperity to the Caucasus and Eastern Anatolia. And um, um, again, um, you're talking about um, Christians being um, killed. No one's denying that. And no one's denying um, the fact that there were deportations. But people also have to realize, and I'm emphasizing it over and over again, hundreds of thousands of Muslims perished. 